The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, isn't just bigger than its ancestor, the Hubble Space Telescope. Be that as it may, it is additionally outfitted with cutting-edge instruments intended to study the universe in uncommon detail. One of its key capacities is its ability to see in the infrared range, which permits it to look through inestimable dust mists and notice protests that are stowed away from customary optical telescopes. This capacity is significant for concentrating on the arrangement of stars and universes, as well as for distinguishing and portraying exoplanets. Not at all like Hubble, which essentially notices imperceptible and bright light, Webb's setup of instruments includes the Near Infrared Camera, NIR Cam, the Near Infrared Spectrograph, NIR Spec, and the Mid Infrared Instrument, MIRI. These instruments cover a wide scope of infrared frequencies empowering researchers to study a wide assortment of galactic peculiarities, from the earliest cosmic systems known to man to the environments of exoplanets. One of the most intriguing possibilities for Webb is its capability to study exoplanets, planets circling stars outside our nearby planet group. By noticing these far-off worlds in infrared light, Webb can investigate their climates for indications of something going on under the surface or livability. This incorporates distinguishing particles, for example, water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane, which are fundamental for supporting life as we know it. Webb's capacity to study exoplanets extends beyond simple discovery. Its high awareness and resolution permit researchers to analyze the synthetic composition of exoplanet climates in significant detail, giving insights into their arrangement and advancement. This data is essential for understanding the variety of planetary frameworks in our world and beyond as well as disentangling the mysteries of inestimable origins. Another key objective of the James Webb Telescope is to disentangle the secrets of vast beginnings by contemplating the earliest cosmic systems that formed in the universe. Webb intends to reveal insight into how universes evolved from their initial arrangement to the current day. Its infrared capabilities are especially appropriate for noticing these far-off cosmic systems, whose light has been extended to longer frequencies due to the expansion of the universe. Webb's deep field observations, like Hubble's famous ultra-deep field, will catch images of some of the faintest and most distant galaxies ever observed. These observations will provide cosmologists with significant information on the formation of galaxies and the cycles that drove their evolution over billions of years. In examining the formation of stars and planetary systems, Webb is also poised to change our understanding of star formation and the development of planetary systems. Thick regions of gas and dust, known as molecular clouds, are the origination of stars and planets. Webb's infrared vision allows it to peer through these dusty covers and notice the cycles that result in new stars and planetary systems. The telescope's ability to discern fine details in these star-forming regions will empower astronomers to study the elements of gas and dust as they break down to form stars. Webb will also explore protoplanetary disks the swirling clouds of gas and dust around youthful stars where planets are born. By concentrating on these disks in infrared light, Webb can identify the signatures of planet formation and provide insights into how planetary systems, like our own solar system, came to be. Grasping dark matter and dark energy is crucial to its scientific goals. Webb will contribute to our understanding of two of the most perplexing aspects of the universe, dark matter and dark energy. Dark matter is believed to make up the majority of the mass in the universe, yet it emits no light and interacts weakly with normal matter and radiation. Dark energy, on the other hand, is thought to be responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe. While Webb is not specifically designed to directly identify dark matter or dark energy, its observations of distant galaxies and their distribution throughout the universe will provide significant insights about these elusive phenomena. By mapping the distribution of galaxies and studying their movements over vast timescales, astronomers can infer the presence of dark matter and its gravitational effects on the large-scale structure of the universe. Similarly, Webb's observations of distant cosmic explosions and other astronomical phenomena can help constrain models of dark energy and its impact on the universe's expansion. Collaborative Efforts and Global Organizations the advancement and development of the James Webb Space Telescope have been a collaborative effort involving NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA. ESA provided the Ariane 5 rocket for the launch, as well as key scientific instruments and expertise. 
CSA contributed the Fine Guidance Sensor, FGS, which plays a critical role in pointing and stabilizing the telescope during observations. Global collaborations are essential for large-scale space missions like Webb, as they enable the pooling of resources, expertise, and scientific objectives. Mainstream scientists around the world have eagerly anticipated Webb's launch and are ready to utilize its unique capabilities for significant discoveries in space science and astronomy. Webb's role in education and public engagement adds to its scientific goals. The James Webb Space Telescope is expected to inspire the next generation of scientists, engineers, and astronomers. Its ambitious mission and cutting-edge technology capture the imagination of people around the world, showcasing the possibilities of space exploration and discovery. Educational Outreach Educational outreach programs developed in collaboration with educational institutions and science centers aim to engage students and the public in the excitement of space exploration. These programs include curriculum materials, educational resources, and interactive activities that highlight Webb's scientific objectives and achievements. By fostering interest in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics fields, outreach efforts contribute to building a scientifically literate society prepared to tackle the challenges of the future. All in all, the best picture ever taken was essentially captured by the James Webb Telescope. Join us as we become acquainted with the James Webb Telescope and how it could change everything. Everything started after the telescope was first suggested in 1996. Three groups of scientists and experts from public and private sectors got together to explore whether NASA could truly build the telescope. All three groups reached the same resolution. The telescope could be built. In 1997, NASA agreed to fund additional assessments to further develop the technical and financial requirements. By 2002, the agency had chosen teams to develop the telescope's most critical components and formed an advisory group of scientists to assist with the design process. The telescope was named the James Webb Space Telescope that very year, paying tribute to the former head of NASA who made significant contributions to the development of the Apollo program. When engineers and scientists began building the Webb Telescope in 2004, they needed to devise new technologies and methods to meet the mission's rigorous scientific needs. Space travelers could fix and further develop Hubble while working from Earth, but Webb would need to perform its duties from too far away for Earth to provide support. Despite these challenges, the team completed all 18 mirror segments and put them through rigorous testing to ensure they met specifications. Eventually, it was possible to envision the telescope going into space and performing its work. The James Webb Space Telescope was built and operated from 2012 to 2013. Unique components of the telescope were being constructed in various locations around the globe. Building began on Webb's sunshield layers in 2013. These layers protect the telescope from excessive heat and allow it to operate effectively in space. Over the next few years, Webb's various scientific instruments underwent extreme tests involving high temperatures and vibrations. Simultaneously, the telescope's 18 separate mirrors were carefully mounted on its backplane. These parts were assembled and tested at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. In 2017, the telescope and its equipment also underwent one final round of environmental tests in a giant thermal vacuum chamber to ensure they would function properly when placed in space. Webb was finally sent into space around the Earth on December 25, 2021, at 7.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. How it works. So how does the telescope genuinely work? People often make space travel sound too simple, so when you first hear about it, it may seem like just another camera, which isn't true. It is completely unique, which is why it took so long to go from concept to launch day. The James Webb Telescope is a powerful space telescope designed to see things in space that are too cold or faint for conventional telescopes to detect. These include objects like stars, galaxies, and planets that are just starting to form. The telescope is intended to capture infrared light, which is what these far-off celestial bodies use to emit most of their heat. This allows us to study these objects in more detail. Infrared light can't penetrate gas and dust, making it appear obscured to our eyes. Webb, on the other hand, can see ultraviolet radiation as well as visible light and infrared radiation. This capability allows it to take pictures of things that are concealed by dust and gas, 
providing us with a clearer view of events happening far away in the universe. It is also possible to analyze the characteristics of objects on Earth, such as their chemical structure and temperature, using infrared light. Infrared light is significant in many areas of physical science and technology. It can help us learn about how stars, systems, and other massive objects are formed and how they evolve over time. It can also be used to detect signs of chemical pollution in our environment. The telescope has a large array of mirrors, advanced imaging and spectroscopy instruments, and cutting-edge thermal control systems that enable it to operate in harsh conditions like space, which, as you probably know, is extremely unforgiving. Since this camera is designed to go into space on its own, it must be built to withstand everything out there without support. After the telescope was launched into space and separated from its launch vehicle, it unfolded and began its long journey to its destination, going through a complex series of steps along the way. There were several critical stages in this process, such as crossing the moon and unfolding into different pieces. The telescope became one of the most valuable resources of its kind when it was fully deployed. How it got to space. Let's take a look at the steps this crucial telescope took to reach space before we discuss why it was so significant. The launch was the first thing that needed to be done. The solar array was deployed after the launch. Two significant beds were placed out on the third day of the journey while the astronauts were still inside the rocket. The major sun shields for Webb were deployed on these beds. These shields keep the telescope cool and allow it to function properly in space. The positioning of these shields was critical to ensure the camera could perform well during the mission. On the fourth day, the payload and instrument package were moved to their final position and assembled. There were a lot of complicated steps in this process, but everything went flawlessly due to the telescope's design. The sunshield was then deployed. The sunshield layers worked to keep the telescope stable. Next was the arrangement of the sunshield film cover, which revealed the tennis court-sized sunshields. After everything was set up, the sunshield and its components were sent. The five parts of the sunshield were then pulled apart. When the James Webb telescope was placed into space, it needed to go through several critical stages. The secondary mirror and a structure to hold the smaller mirror in place were installed on day 10. The primary mirror wings were then unfolded on day 13, which gave the telescope its final shape. After these steps were completed, the telescope was ready to begin its mission of observing distant stars and planets. What is the real point? What's intriguing about the James Webb Telescope is that it wasn't intended to do just one thing. It was designed to tackle many tasks. Let's explore this in more detail. Scientists like Daniel Eisenstein, an astrophysicist at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, can use telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope to look back into the past and see galaxies when they were just beginning to form. Light travels gradually, so a planet that is far away looks older than it actually is. The telescope can check the early history of galaxies to figure out how they formed and how they have changed over time. Since it can see worlds up to a significant distance, scientists like Eisenstein can gain a comprehensive picture of how galaxies structure and evolve by studying different galaxies at various stages of development. Webb is astounding for studying distant galaxies since it can detect infrared light. The universe is expanding, which stretches the light from these far-off galaxies to longer wavelengths over time. This changes the light's tone from visible or ultraviolet to infrared. Webb is particularly adept at capturing infrared signals because it is large and cold, allowing it to see much farther into space than other telescopes. This capability empowers us to observe galaxies as they form and evolve, providing insights into the universe's development over time. Researchers study stars from the specific places where they are born. Stars are formed from dense clouds of gas and dust called nebulae. Since these clouds are so thick, visible light can't penetrate them, making it challenging for scientists to use optical telescopes to observe these regions. However, infrared light can penetrate these dusty clouds more easily than visible light, allowing researchers to see into the heart of these star-forming areas in ways that other telescopes cannot. Because the Webb telescope can detect infrared light, scientists will be able to study these regions in much greater detail than ever before. An infrared space expert at the University of Arizona, named Maria, is the lead researcher for one of Webb's cameras. 
She explains that this is because red light has a longer wavelength and can penetrate through the dust in our atmosphere better than blue light. Infrared light can also reach deeper into dusty areas than visible light. As a result, the sun appears redder at night than during the day. Because Webb can see infrared better, Hubble has only been able to study star formation at the surface level. Webb's broader range of infrared wavelengths will allow scientists to see deeper into the dust and learn more about how stars are born and develop. Studying black holes. When it comes to studying black holes, it is difficult to see them because they can trap light, making them some of the most confounding objects in space. On the other hand, we can observe the effects of black holes on the stars and galaxies around them. Researchers have examined various aspects of black holes using telescopes like X-ray telescopes. For instance, they have studied how the immense gravitational forces of black holes cause nearby stars to heat up and become active. With the launch of NASA's Webb Telescope, its infrared instruments will enable researchers to study black holes in more detail. They can learn more about black holes and the complex physics occurring around them by observing the cooler gases and stars that orbit them. Considering exoplanets. When observing stars in dense, dusty regions of space, it can be challenging to study them. For this reason, telescopes like Webb are essential. Optical telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope cannot overcome these obstacles. The advantage of Webb is that it can capture the light emitted by the stars themselves, even through dust clouds. This means that scientists will be able to use the telescope to observe areas of space that are currently obscured. The James Webb Space Telescope can capture and analyze the light from stars and other celestial objects across a wide range of wavelengths. In summary, the James Webb Space Telescope represents a significant leap forward in our ability to observe and understand the universe. With its advanced infrared capabilities, Webb promises to transform our understanding of inestimable origins, exoplanetary systems, star formation, and the fundamental nature of dark matter and dark energy. As the successor to Hubble, Webb builds upon decades of scientific advancements and technological innovations, opening new frontiers in astronomy and paving the way for future discoveries. By looking deeper into space and observing in wavelengths beyond the reach of previous telescopes, Webb will unveil new insights into the mysteries of the universe, inspiring wonder and awe in people of all ages. As Webb embarks on its mission to explore the universe, Researchers and enthusiasts alike eagerly await the discoveries that await us beyond the stars.